first injection we'll see is the infrotemporal intraconal injection. Uh, we'll identify the landmark of the lateral limbic margin. We'll go a couple of millimeters lateral to that. Then we'll head down towards the orbital floor about two millimeters underneath the globe with the bevel towards the globe at about a 120 degree angle. We'll then insert the needle about two millimeters or the length of the bevel. Once we've inserted it that distance, we will bring it to about a 90 degree angle to the face reassess our landmarks, making sure we're lateral to the limbic line. At that point in time, we will insert the needle approximately 12 and a half millimeters. Once the needle has been inserted to that depth, we will then to begin to drop the syringe towards the infraorbital rim. And as it rests down then on the infraorbital rim, again, we'll reassess our landmarks, making sure we're lateral to the lateral limbic line, approximately parallel then to the nose. And then at that point in time, we will begin to insert the rest of the needle for a depth of one inch or 25 millimeters. Once we've reached that one inch depth, we can secure the syringe, aspirate, and begin a slow injection, approximately one milliliter every 10 seconds. In our patients at this point in time, we'd probably start to see the iproptose as the anesthetic uh, is injected into the intraorbital area. Uh, we also may see anesthetic come out peripherally. One area may be the superior nasal area, the next area the inferior nasal area, and we may also see it then on the inferior temporal area. Once the anesthetic is injected, then we can start to withdraw the needle, come back to about 90 degrees, and at 90 degrees, begin to bend the needle tip towards the orbital floor. So as we withdraw the needle, it's on approximately that 120 degree angle that we originally inserted the needle. This will be the infratemporal extraconal injection. We'll identify the landmark of the lateral limbic line, plane, and we will move lateral to that approximately two millimeters. We will then go under the globe approximately two millimeters with the bevel towards the globe at about a 120 degree angle. We will go through the conjectiva approximately two millimeters or the length of the bevel. At that point in time, we'll rotate the syringe to a 90 degree angle. We'll reassess our landmarks, making sure we're lateral to the lateral limbic line. Once we've completed that, then we'll start a slow insertion of the needle to its full depth of one inch or 25 millimeters. Once the needle's been inserted the full 25 millimeters, we'll uh, secure the syringe, aspirate, and begin a slow injection of approximately one milliliter every 10 seconds. As we complete the balance of the injection, we'll then begin to withdraw the needle. We'll come out about a half an inch at 90 degrees, and then we'll begin to start to rotate it towards the orbital floor and withdraw it with a needle at about 120 degrees. We'll now see the superior temporal extraconal injection. Uh, we'll identify the landmark at 12 o'clock and slightly lateral to that in line with the lateral limbic line. This particular technique we will do with the eyelid closed and the bevel towards the globe. We'll depress the eyeball downward and then at about a 45 degree angle insert the needle above our fingertips towards the superorbital rim. Once we've gone through the skin and the orbital septum, we will then move the syringe to a 90 degree position, rotate up the upper eyelid so we can observe the globe, and at that point in time start a slow insertion straight back to a full depth of one inch. 
Once we've reached one inch, we can secure the syringe, aspirate, and start again a slow injection of approximately one milliliter every 10 seconds. And as we complete this injection, we'll then begin to remove the syringe at about till about the half inch mark. At that point in time, invert the syringe cephalad about 45 degrees and then withdraw it with the needle tip facing the superorbital rim and away from the globe. Next we'll see the medial caruncle extraconal injection. We'll then identify the landmark of the medial caruncle at about a 60 degree angle with the bevel towards the globe. We'll insert a 30 gauge 1 half inch needle uh, to the hub of the caruncle. Now we can aspirate and inject three milliliters of local anesthetic. And as we complete this injection, we will withdraw the needle in the same 60 degree angle so the tip of the needle does not face the globe.